Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how to create ground truth points in ArcGIS Pro. So to this point we've created a classified image. This is an 8-bit uh, integer raster in which each pixel value is a number that corresponds to a class. So for example these blue pixels are water, these green pixels are forest. To assess the accuracy of this classified map we want to generate a bunch of random ground truth points with a certain number of points in each class so that we can then load these points into our GPS, go out to the field, and check the accuracy of our map. So our brief workflow here is we're going to create the points with the Generate Accuracy Assessment Points tool. Then we're going to add the XY coordinates into the attribute table, and then we're going to export it into Excel. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to convert this shapefile into a KML that you could upload directly into your GPS, but that'll be in the next video. Okay, so we've got a project going, and here's our classified map. And this is quite easy. We're just going to go up to Analysis Tools, and we're going to go to just search Accuracy, Create Accuracy Assessment Points, uh, our input raster is going to be our final classified map that's already been smoothed. Again, this is an 8-bit integer. This won't work on a floating point. Uh, here we're going to create a shape file and we'll just copy over the one we already made before called gtps.shp. Um, our target field is going to be ground truth. That's going to make sure it copies the class values into the attribute table. We're going to want seven random points per class. Uh, for, depending on your application, you may want much, much more than this, but we're doing a little class trip. And we're going to choose equalized stratified random. This means that basically uh, it's going to be stratified, meaning the points are going to be picked by class, and, but it's going to be equalized such that we have the same number of points in each class. All right, so we'll do that, hit run. And before we go further, let's take a quick peek in the attribute table. Notice what has been added is this ground truth field in which each number corresponds to a user class. Zero is water, one is rock. Notice it did not put the text values in there. I just kind of know those by heart right by now. Um, and they correspond to the text values in our original classified raster. So for now, we're just going to have to kind of remember those. Zero is water, one is rock, two is grass. So hang on to that information. All right, next we're going to add the XY coordinates. We're going to go back up to Analysis, Tools. And there's a very nice, quick little tool called Add XY Coordinates. Our input feature is going to be the shape file that we just made. So these XY coordinates are going to get added as new fields within our GTP shape file. And they're just going to get added in the map coordinate system and map projection, which in this case is UTM zone uh, 12N, I believe, 18N. So we're going to right click, go to the attribute table, and sure enough, it's added these new fields. X, of course, is longitude. Y is latitude. Those are in units of meters because we're in a UTM projection. OK, so uh, also if you want to sort this by class, you can just double click that and it'll sort by your class. And final thing in this video is we're going to just scroll down, multi-select, holding shift, clicking on this far outer number list. That's going to select all of the features. Then we're going to go up here and hit this copy button. That's going to copy all of our selected rows. And we're going to go to a fresh Excel sheet, upper left pixel, upper, upper left cell, right click and paste. Comes out very, very cleanly. So we now have uh, our ground truth points as numeric classes and our latitude and longitude. So keep in mind, if you want to change these into text, you'll have to add a new column and do a little 
filling down to get your actual values. Stay tuned for our next video where we're going to export this to a KML. Thank you.